everyone, SK00136 here. I don't know if you've noticed, but in some of my videos, the uh, my dock, this part, the like the where the shelf where the app sit on and dock missing on, that has been green. And I'm going to show you how to do that with the help of Super Docker. So I'll just open it up, and there's a lot of stuff that you can customize in here. I'm right now just going to custom talk about the customization of the dock. Um, I'm not going to talk about anything else. And probably in future videos, this is how I do these, I'll talk about the other parts. Um, so when you do it here in configuration, which is the first part, you can do some cool stuff. Such as, if you know, if you sometimes have a messy desktop with like a one window that has like a thousand, I mean one application that has like a thousand videos, and you're like, oh god, I need, it's tough to do this, and then you press command H, and you hide it. Well, if you want to, but you're not sure whether or not what apps are hidden, because you may have a lot of apps hidden, you can click on this. And now, whenever you hide an app, such as QuickTime Player, which is now hidden, not only will the indicator like be like dimmed, which, which is always there, but it all the icon will also be semi-transparent. So the icon, the indicator light, although is always like dimmer. Then there's also the automatically hide button, which I think needs needs no talking about because it's normal. There's also lock icons, which means I can't change my dock or reorder the items or drag an item in. <laughs> Won't work unless I. I don't like that. You can also change the bottom dock when the dock is on the bottom of your screen to be 2D. This is great for those of you who are migrating from Tiger, Leopard, no, from Tiger or below. Yeah. This is great for people who are upgrading from Tiger below because they have the 2D dock and you probably are not used to the 3D dock. I personally like the, the 3D dock. Here there's alignment, which aligns it on your screen so that your dock is moved to shift it to the side. This is great if you're doing something with a picture in picture and you don't want to cover up your dock. I keep it again on the center because that's how I like it. Then there's the position on screen, which is I think means you know talking about you should know it's it's in the settings right here. Dock. And there's also minimize using and so there are more themes always keep it proportionally checked on check that it looks it, the, your minimization doesn't look good and so there's the genie which is part of mac os automatically and the scale which is also a part of mac os and then there's also suck which is a new one which literally kind of sucks in i like genie the best you can also add separators to your applications and to documents. They're like these empty things and you can drag them around or toss it off like you normally would do with an application. Sometimes it takes a bit of work when you have magnification on to get that out. But then, here, I got it out. You can also, if you don't want, if you want it to go back to default, click this restore button here and bam, it's back in default mode. Here you can press customize dock, which will take, which will make, which can you can create a theme for your dock. So test for YouTube, this could be the theme, and then I could do something. I go into to test my theme. Here you can see it's already colored. It's customer. If I check this, go into here. I can now choose any color I want. This is blue, pink, deep, sad. Okay, that's gonna vanish, and there you have it. A red dot. You can also remove some. Here's an old one of mine. Remove another one of mine. Another one of mine. So now I just have two. This effect. And I have. And so if you choose any color, 
and you go into here under palette and press plus, it saves the color. So that's how I save this one. Just my current dot color. So you can just click on export, give it a random name, make sure you keep this dot dot whatever. And I'll put it on my desktop. There you go, and if I open it up, you can see it's now imported into here. So yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching. Subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.